Are you provoking me? <laughs> Time for a little exercise. Hello guys, welcome, welcome. This is your MBCC Chief Phantom Serious as my Twitch name and for my YouTube channel that is Sarah Kokubaki in guys. So we're gonna here for our 15 podcast or should I say a mini podcast and we're gonna interview one of the sinners because the game uh the interview is more all about path to nowhere guys that is the game it's a tower defense game guys which is just released three weeks ago if i remember correctly and the units are named as sinners and they are controlled by the chief who has who has the power of the shackles guys so we have here one of the players um who plays path to nowhere and let's us welcome Sinner Lex. Hello, Sinner Lex. Hello. Welcome, welcome. How are you? Feeling okay, a bit sleepy, but um, talking about um stuff I like makes me not sleepy. Oh, <laughs> not sleepy. So, you have any um ideas or any wild guess on why you are here on this? Um, podcast. Of course, I know why I'm here. I'm here to spread the love for Path to Nowhere. Oh, okay, okay. So, you're here to spread the love. Oh, for what reason? <laughs> for what reason? Well, more than Path to Nowhere, I'm here to spread love for my mommy. <laughs> mommy. Who is that mommy? Do you have a teaser oh. of who is that mommy? Is that is that uh is that a sinner or what? <laughs> yes, my mommy is a sinner. Oh, oh she's a sinner. The path, to, sinner. No, the path to nowhere players will know her. She's ah. the very strong, 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 strong. Um, so you have any? Abs. You have you have any idea what uh what kind of strong are you referring to? Just uh, give a little teaser about your mommy or your favorite sinner. I assume that is your favorite sinner. Ah yes, yeah, she's my favorite sinner. So yes. first of all, uh like like gacha games, you know, there are tiers. And mm -hmm. my mom my mommy is an S tier. Oh wrong S! Oh my god, yes, that is that S -tier. is the, I think that is the, is the strongest, I presume. 
Drunk yes, ass. it's the strongest gear. So I, I wonder how the chief shackle that that um if you know that shackle is the one who binds the sinners, right? So uh, how, yes. I wonder how the chief handled that S class sinner. I'm not sure if I remember it right. Do I remember it right, ba? In the story, I think I reached it. Oh, uh, spoilers so, allowed. Okay. Not yet, not yet. Just a okay, teaser. Okay, so, I'll keep my okay. We will, we will know more about the story behind that that teaser, guys. So, so formally welcome once again. I am the MBCC Chief Phantom Series or Sarah Kokubeki. And once again, guys, interviewing the Sinner Lex here, guys. So, um, for the first question is. How do you? What made you play Path to Nowhere? So actually, what made me play Path to Nowhere was a recommendation from a friend, mm -hmm. and this friend sent the link, and I thought, "Oh look, the characters are so pretty," mm -hmm. <laughs> and so I downloaded the game. <laughs> I see, I see. So it was it was just the recommendation of the friend, the which made you play the game. Yes. So, how was the your first playthrough of the game? Did you already sure. experience a tower defense game recently, or that was your first uh, tower defense genre kind of game? Uh, I've played tower defense games before, but like um um, it's like a side game in the game. So it's like an arcade game. So I didn't mm -hmm. really play it for long. Mm -hmm. So I was a bit familiar with the mechanics of how to play, but since Path to Nowhere is a bit unique, so I still found it challenging to play. <laughs> mm, I see, I see. Really, that's that's kind of like that's kind of like a bold statement that you are having a difficulty with Path to Nowhere. I assume that Path to Nowhere has really different kind of mechanic, as you said, right? Yes. <laughs> so how 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 different is it from the other games that you played? Ah, oh, like um, where you put your units, you put them on like where the enemies will pass, right? Mm -mm. And then the ones I've played, you don't put them. Um, um, what do you say? You only put them at the sides to attack, and you don't really put them to block the enemies. They're just mm. offense and no defense. Mm, I see. Yeah. So meaning you're saying that it's all more on all offense, no defensive, somewhat like yeah. that, right? Yeah. But path to nowhere is like alternate. There is an offensive. There's a defense. Yes. Because if I remember correctly, the one you're defending is your chief, and the sinners are your offensive units. Am I right? Yes, that's correct. Okay. So, moving on is, how do you find your, if you are on the shoes of the sinner, how would you find yourself? If I were the sinner, I yes. think I would be more like, um, am I allowed to mention Hela? Yes. yes. But I would not want to be shackled. <laughs> I mean, why, yeah. right? There is a specific reason why the sinners are um, shackled. Oh, but um, right, if you're basically if you're shackled, you have to work with the what do you call them? The kind of police of the game. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, and then it seems like um, based on what I remember, you don't really get to choose to become a sinner. You just just kind of happens so it's kind mm -hmm. of sad mm -hmm. but what will happen if you said that shuffle, shuffles are the source of which the sinners are robbed by their freedom right mm -hmm. so what if there is a good reason behind it like you're a sinner so meaning you don't have you don't know when your powers will go berserk right so oh. the shackles will help you. Oh, that's true. So, oh. what makes you say that you, if you're like, your your example is, if you're in the shoes 
with hella, right? Hella. Mm-hmm. So meaning you don't want to be shackled. So what if there will be a time that your uh, sinner power will go berserk? What will happen? And you do not want to be shackled by the chief or the any of the MBCC stuff. Hmm. Okay, maybe. Okay, it depends. Okay, if if it goes berserk, then fine. No choice. Hmm. <laughs> I see. I see. Give me a moment. We will have a pausing um pause for the for the podcast. We'll be right back shortly. Okay, so now we're back. Can you tell me again what's your answer related to the last question that I asked? Okay. So if I were a sinner, I personally wouldn't want to be robbed of my freedom mm-hmm. by um someone using their shackles on me. Because, mm-hmm. you know, I would still be a person. I want to do my own mm. things. I have my own goals. But if... um. In the case that, let's say, I'm a sinner and then my powers are going berserk and I might hurt mm. someone. In that case, I think there will be have, um, no choice but to get shackled. But <laughs> you said you said yourself that earlier that you don't want to be shackled. So the MBC chip, like like me, example, I'm the MBC chip. So okay, fine, I want I won't shackle you. You go on your own. So what will happen? You cannot. I cannot shackle you anymore because. For the first time, you don't want to accept the shackles. So meaning, oh, I you... can't shackle you again. <laughs> oh, oh, is that how it works, ba? Okay. So what? Ha- what will happen if that were the case? And your power, oh, okay, uh, your then let power. Me go. Okay, let me get berserk. Then let me go berserk. I'll just hurt people. <laughs> but, but the problem is that you will be killed. Oh, in that's order how it to... is. In order to suppress, right? So, yes. I mean, like, you're a sinner, so you need to be... It's not because that you're robbed of your freedom. It's because of suppressing your own powers. Because you don't know when you will be berserk, right? Like, oh. Hela is like a selfish thing. And a family-friendly voice is like a letter B girl. <laughs> <laughs> so, basically, that's kind of scary. If that will happen. Mm-hmm. So yeah, basically, basically like that. So, how about the gameplay mechanics of the game? How did you find it? Oh, I found that um, it was fun because it was complex. <laughs> complex? And what kind of complex are you talking about? Oh, because um, when I played the tower defense games I played for a short while before, didn't have that much category of like, mm-hmm. let's say mm-hmm. in sinners, there are different types of sinners, right? Mm-hmm. There's one that focuses on defense, one that focuses on breaking cores, and the other one focused on dealing far range damage, one focused on melee. Like, I did not, we did not, ha- I did not play with those kinds of units before, so it was a bit mm-hmm. challenging. And especially the core, the mechanics with the core, mm-hmm. I found that tough because I I only had, um, what you call the free girl, ah, oh, Hecate. <laughs> I only free had Hecate. <laughs> free girl, yeah, she's free. <laughs> I only had Hecate. And then when there were enemies with many cores, I was having a hard time. Mm-hmm. Well, for starters, Hecate can only break one core. But at the time evolved by Hikate, it can break like two cores and with two enemies at the same time. Ah. So yeah, it take it take time. So how about the farming mechanics of the game? How did you find <laughs> it? It was fine. <laughs> how fine? How how no. fine is that? <laughs> fine uh, not fine. <laughs> Fine, not fine. Define. Elaborate, um, please. I'm the type who binges my game. So I play it, let's say, if it's if I play it one day, I'll play it like the whole day. And I want to have the biggest progress I can have in one day. Mm-mm. But then I get stuck up because I cannot get any more stamina. I cannot get any more mana crystals. I can't get any more just because there's a limit. You can't just keep playing. Mm-hmm. Mm. So you having a problem with this stamina thing? Yes. Okay. Mm. So 
So let's talk about the sinners. What do you find about Wendy, the chainsaw maniac? <laughs> I don't use her a lot, but based on her character design, she's she's cool. I like crazy characters. <laughs> mm-hmm. Crazy characters are nice. <laughs> How about you do a Wendy impression joke? How do you do? You first. You first. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I, I'm the chief, so I must command you. You're the sinner. What does Wendy say? <laughs> So, when how about how about uh how about how about um Hella? What what do you think about Hella? I love Hella. Like you call her a bee, like in family friendly terms, you call her a bee. But yeah. To me, she's that bee stands for baby. <laughs> ah, baby. Baby in 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 a backward meaning. No, no, not backward meaning. Oh, I know. She's no. she's only aggressive because she is I, a hurt I, girl. I beg to this. I beg to disagree in the statement. No, why? Hella's good girl. <laughs> I beg. I beg to disagree with that statement. Why? Ms. Why? Sinner Lex, because Hella is like mm, a B I E C H. <laughs> No, hell is a B A B Y. Oh, I don't. No, 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 no. As you can see, Hella is being, uh, yeah, she's being a baby. But as the story goes on, he's already a B, not a baby, but a B. A B B. Oh, as the story goes on, okay, maybe that's something that I haven't reached yet. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Okay. How about Hikate? How do you see Hikate? I don't. I'm not that attached to Hikate because she's she's so what do you call this? Like Miss she's like a robot. Dangerous. <laughs> very, she's mysterious and she's very loyal, but she's like a robot. You know, you know. Or Almost about... like she's she feels like it's like she's programmed to help you, but she has you don't really know about her feelings. Mm. Okay. How about Anne? The nurse in Salva ah, Hospital. I love um uh, I love the um very loving characters. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How about the girl that you rescued in the hospital, the gray-haired maid? Ah, uh, I don't know much about her except I feel bad for her. <laughs> mm. Because of her how powers. About, how about Miss Iron? Miss Iron, I think Miss Iron is the best. Okay, the second no. best. Okay, second best. what what do you like about Iron? I like how she always looks at you like you're trash. <laughs> mm. You you like you like those kind of dare, huh? Dare type of girl, huh? Yeah, that's my type. Mm. <laughs> how about let's say I wonder if you reach horror. Horror horror. I don't think I've reached. Ah, uh, you didn't reach. How about Earl? Who? Earl. Did I reach? assume that you already reached the Legion part, right? Mm-mm. So I know you know. Ah, I know you reached is it? Earl. Is it the? Is it the guy? Yeah, the adjutant. If Ni- Nightingale is the adjutant of Chief, she is the adjutant of the. You know. Ah. Yeah, Earl is. Earl is. Earl is creepy, but Earl is. Fine. <laughs> Earl is creepy but fine. Yeah. <laughs> which, which is which? Choose one. <laughs> I know. It's creepy. But it's okay that Earl is creepy because um, you know, they're they're, they're in some kind of um ruthless organization, so he has to be kind of sneaky and creepy, I guess. Sneaky, sneak sneaky, sneaky in what way? <laughs> I don't know, like when he plans stuff, and then you as the chief don't really know, or stuff like that. Ah, uh, okay, okay. So mm-hmm. let's move on to the last sinner, which is Zoya. <laughs> Zoya, how do you see Zoya? Mami Zoya, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Mami Zoya. Chill, Mami chill, chill. I, answer, Ooh. answer first, answer first before fun girling. I oh. know. Mami Zoya, um, okay, so how, how do you see Zoya as a leader? As a leader, we need to start a religion. We have to... Um, if you were the player, you would feel like you would understand her 
charisma and you know like she she has the power to draw you to her with her um very um savage way of speaking mm-hmm. how how savage is that can you give examples of that savage talk of zoya like when she kabedons and holds the wrist of like of like teeth oh no this is spoiler but like aha uh-huh. trying to prove a point and then she's like daring the chief to um this is spoilers i won't say it but she try, she kind try, of like challenges try, try to start a conversation example you're zoya and i'm the chief how do you do that I don't can know you how can to you act like mommy zoya okay you can act you can act try you you give an example <laughs> You're trying to make me awaken my. <gasps> I, my I, I have an inner mummy Zoya. Oh my gosh. Um... Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. The floor is yours. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have we're having a technical difficulty. The the ma, the mummy Zoya cannot continue anymore. Error for o four. Error for o four. <laughs> error for o four. Code, code not work. <laughs> okay, for that, I'm gonna show you some pictures. Give me a sec. All right. So, what do you think about this picture? Can you say something about this? Wait, which picture? This one on the on the screen. You know. Oh, Mabizoya. <laughs> So what can you say about the first picture? First picture? I do not recall seeing Mommy Zoya? Although you looked very um hurt, hurt or shocked, but like no, you look no, very no, 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 this one, this one. And uh on the far far left 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 side. Oh. oh. The one the one with she pecate hella on the back. Um What can you say about that picture? I'd say that. Okay, forgive my dog. Um, she looks cool. I, I, what, like, what's going on? <laughs> I mean, if you were given a script to to do that certain scene, what would you? What would your script be, and why? I'm not a no voice actor, but like. I probably... mean, you can like create a script. You, you a don't script. need to act it out a script. Oh, okay, like, okay. A, a dialogue, like a, dialogue a, a, a short dialogue between Zoya and the tree on the back. Wait, can you explain to me what's happening in the picture? I don't remember this, Nagi. Wow. Who's hurt? I mean, from from your from your own perspective, from your okay, own from understanding own of the picture. Maybe something like <laughs> I don't know what to put. Like her hurt sounds, hurt sounds, like grunting sounds. <laughs> I mean, I mean, example, you're you're Zoya, and I'm the chief. What is your dialogue based on what you understand on the picture? I guess it would be something like. How dare you, or something like that? <laughs> wow, savage, savage. That's a savage one. How about for the second picture? Which one's the second one? <laughs> the one where the one Zoya was like, uh, shocking eye. Wait, the one on the right? The one on the right, lower. right, right side, right side. The right side. The one when the impaled spike. Oh, the one with the impaled. Ouch. What would Mummy Zoya say? Maybe something like I don't know. Like... I mean, put yourself in that shoes that you're being impaled by the spike. Impaled. That one single spike that impaled to your body. Since Mummy Zoya seems like such a strong character, maybe it would be like feeling reluctant to lose. Like I can't lose like this or something like that. Mm, I see. I see. Mm. How about for the third picture below the below the one with Chief? The one, the with, one Chief? with us. Yeah, the one before the first picture, then below that. Below the first picture. Ah, yeah. the interrogation. Or I don't yeah. know. It kind of looks like interrogation. No, no, no. This one, the one with three spikes. The three oh, wait, spikes? two spikes. Two spikes. Huh? 
those two spikes, spikes. I mean, those Wait, spikes, which one, the one... Offered, done with the spikes? No, the the first one with the first one, the one with the like below the first pick, wherein the chief, chief Hela and Hikate on the back. Ah. Below that, yeah. Oh wait. Oh, okay. Okay, I got the order wrong. <laughs> I got the order wrong. So what do you, what do you think happened on that picture? Um, I don't know what happened. Like, did someone did someone beat her? Did someone? I mean, what is your perspective? Like, from your own understanding, what do you see about it? Ah, uh, she's been impaled. <laughs> But she doesn't necessarily look defeated to me. Hmm. I see. I see. I see that that is a that is a nice um that is a nice uh info. How about on the third pick below that one? Ah, uh, the one with the abs. Where, <laughs> yes, the one with abs. Uh, <laughs> that's just the one with yeah. abs. Standing. So, like the confident. Um, girl crush, badass woman and she is. Why do you think that Zoya there is like glaring with his eyes, her eyes to be specific? What do you think happened on that picture? Glaring at chief. <laughs> chief? I mean, why? I mean, don't you play as the chief? So isn't she looking at us, the screen? <laughs> so your perspective is. She's glaring. She's glaring at me. <laughs> She's glaring at you or yeah. me. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, I accept that answer. How about for the last big interrogation scene? <laughs> That's mommy Zoya inviting me to. <laughs> Never mind. Say you're in that situation. What would happen to you? I think. I'd have to prepare for my death, and it's okay. Mm. What makes you think that you will die on that um, interrogation scene? Because uh, the dark lighting and the way that she doesn't—that she looks so um, confident and uh, cocky. Mm-hmm. Cocky, yo, cocky. cocky, like you know, cocky. smug. Like smug. she got, she got an attitude. Like she's not worried that she's being interrogated. Smug, like smug like waku waku, <laughs> waku waku. <laughs> no. Waku waku. <laughs> Why would you compare Mommy Zoya to Anya? <laughs> oh wait, no, not not Anya like your, <laughs> like your ah yeah 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 okay that's the your. same vibe. That's the same vibe. Mm-hmm. So basically, in all the perspective on that picture, that six pictures on the way five pictures what can you um in construct a simple sentence of all the picture that you can say in one word or like a sentence one word or a sentence yeah mm-hmm. mommy zoya is a badass <laughs> wow, what a bold statement yeah. What a whole statement from the sinner Lex, guys. Mm-hmm. What uh what an abid fan of the S class rank. Doya, so, yeah, the leader of the Legion Syndicate, guys. So basically we kinda hit the jackpot to interview one of the abid fans of Zoya, guys. Ooh, so Zoya. I mean I mean one last question is if ever that you have a chance, let's say for example Zoya is real. Zoya is real, the character design is the same and such and all over the dip same attitude and such. And you happen to be the chief who shackled Zoya. What is the first command that you will ever tell Zoya to do? I know. And I'd why? command I'd command Zoya to treat me like her pet <laughs> like she can give me a cage and she can give me a leash and she can give me like dog food and i will eat from the dog food <laughs> and then and i will sleep inside the cage <laughs> and why is that your first command to zoya i mean i know you have a fetish but 
why why is that that is your first thing that you um entered in your mind when you are the chief and you are the one who shackled the you, S class sinner Zoya? No, I don't feel like it is right that uh let's say I'm the chief and I shackled Mommy Zoya, but I'm like I don't feel like I'm superior. I want to be below her. <laughs> but chief is more superior than the sinner, despite That's of weird. their rank. <laughs> then I will change it. I will <laughs> command it to be different. <laughs> so what if Zoya will disobey your command? Oh, why? Why? Why will Mommy Zoya disobey you? <laughs> Sometimes S class sinners can defy defy if the order is not really necessary. So what oh. will happen if that situation arises? I will beg. <laughs> What if Zoya will not um do the request even though you beg? Oh no. Maybe you should make make mommy Zoya angry. If you do, you'll die. <laughs> oh, that's what I want. <laughs> okay, okay, so okay. <laughs> so 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 formally close this part to nowhere mini podcast, the 15 podcast of the Star and Party. What is your final <laughs> thoughts about the game? Um, uh, but nowhere, it's a very visually pleasing game. It has a very nice aesthetic, and the characters are also cool and they're also um interesting their characters and their backstories and all and especially mommy soya <laughs> mm-hmm. so i hope more people will give love to the game so that um they will improve it more right agreed 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 i mean like not many people do this kind of game because it's kind of tiring at the end or in the middle but as the time goes by you are gonna be challenged the more the more harder you are from the story the more challenging it will become and you will know more about the story or the background behind the cheat yes so any last messages to the listeners um love mommy zoya (laughs) stop promoting zoya love mommy zoya mommy zoya number one dark anyway guys so that that ends our podcast i am the mbcc chief phantom series or sarah kokubaki in delivering you the 15 mini podcast about path to nowhere guys this is uploaded on this spotify guys very soon but youtube will be the first one to see these guys so once again, this is um, the NBC Chief and the guest is the sinner Lex, who is an avid fan of Zoya, guys. So until the next, guys, NBC Chief out.